Your peace negotiation is not complete with Namde Kano in prison. Iwanya Mutu Buhari, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Newly sworn in President General of Ohanez Ndibu, Emmanuel Iwanyawo has on Sunday asked President Muhammad Buhari to release Namde Kanu, leader of the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, from prison. Speaking during this inauguration as the new President General of the Apex Igbo body, Iwanyawo said the security situation in the southeast is very disturbing, adding that there is an urgent need for a peace summit in Igbo land. I will therefore make a special appeal to President Muhammad Buhari to release Mazen Namde Kano before the expiration of his tenure in May 29th, Iwanya was said. Kano is very crucial to any key discussion and it is not possible to negotiate any peace while Namde Kano is in prison. It is important to know that the judiciary has destroyed and freed Mazen Namde Kano. It will be the joy of many Igbo people and Nigerians to see Mazen Namde Kano released from detention. He added, I feel it is important that he is released to have access to his medical doctor so that he does not die in prison. According to him, he never nurtured the ambition to be the group's resident general, but said destiny has not placed the responsibility on his shoulders. He promised to serve the Igbo diligently and defend their cause. I contested for the presidency on three occasions, but I did not succeed. I took my losses in a good composure, knowing fully well that as a Christian, all powers and promotion come from God. But today, destiny has placed squarely on my shoulder the duty of leading the Igbo as the President General of Ohanes and Igbo worldwide. I therefore have a duty to violently defend Igbo cause, and I promise, and I promise to do, and I promise Imo be and all Igbo people that by the grace of God, I will not fail them, Iwanyangu said. The inauguration was attended by Ifan Yoguan of Enugu State, Charles Soludo of Anambra State, P2B presidential candidate of Labour Party, among others. So, Mr. Iwanya, who contested for, I think he contested under the People Democratic Party uh, to be president, he did not succeed, has finally been made the President General of Anizi. As about two days ago, they were saying he has not been made, you know, they were having some ups and downs, but finally they don't conclude and he has been made the President General of Ohanez Ndibu. He is making an appeal and wasting this man talk natural. There is no how you can start saying that you want to preach peace and this their son, Nambi Kanu, is in prison. It's not possible. You understand? It is not possible, say. You cannot come outside to say, oh, um, the South Eastern people that, um, please let us all unite. Let us all choose peace. It cannot work, sir. You have to start from you have to start from releasing this man from prison. First of all, before you now start saying and he has to come outside and give a speech before his people say, Okay, he's alive, he's healed and hearty. Let us now listen to what they have to say. Without him coming out and making a speech, we'll be saying people go listen to or say the video, say, Okay, this man they are alive. For we are it should be as if you're pouring water. On top of stone, whatever you do, it is not going to work. Hmm? It will not work. All right, now they can with thousands of innocent boys cannot be enjoying. You say you're making peace exactly, and it is not just the it is not just the their leader, but their members as well. So it is not just uh, what's the call. This is not just the leader. Many, many, many people who have been wrongly accused who. You hear stories of, oh, this person is a member of IPOB. Before you know it, they arrested him. Before you know it, he's in prison. Both, most of them, who their family members. I'm telling you, this insecurity happening in the Southeastern region made most of them, their family members, think that they don't die. They don't buy since. Meanwhile, they are in different prisons all around, they're scattered in different uh, prisons all around the country. So the best thing to do is to come outside and do what? Grant those people pardon. So far, I said they're not criminals. The Namde Kano's case is even different because why? His own, the court has said, you are acquitted and free of all charges. Meaning say, they don't release the man making the go. Maybe we should do what? Allow him go. If you are truly saying you want to tell the part of peace, that is the first step. 
release him, release other people who are wrongly jailed just because maybe somebody fingered them. Some of them are not even a member. member. Somebody fingered them and said, oh, this person is a member of the indigenous people of Biafra. All right. Please and please and please don't tell me that MNK MK is still in prison. Where are your IPOP, ESN, and a good money? So they're all paper tigers. No. Things are not in Daboski has not solved any problem. You see, violence has never given birth to peace. There is no way to use violence. So the thing is, they are waiting, they are doing the right way. That is why they also always tell you if I if IPOB is a terrorist organization, do you think that they're going to allow the leaders to be in prison? Come on now. It can't work. It cannot work. Hmm? All right, um, someone that values car more than human beings, what do you expect from him? <laughs> who is negotiating with who? On what? Imagine these people like, like drama. Well, whether I like it or not, peace has been negotiated. And I think whoever, both the president, the outgoing president, and the incoming president should do whatever they can to make sure they're at peace with not just one, but all the geopolitical zones in the country. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for any need to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day